Films, and welcome to another DaddyJamesFilms.web.com's video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to access your home computer from anywhere with a program called TeamViewer. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to be able to remotely control your home computer from anywhere. Uh, I said you're at the office and you want to check uh, what's on your home desktop. Well, you might have heard of a few programs out there where you have to pay for and you know, you'd be able to get on your desktop and stuff like that. Well, it's actually free to do. Okay? And to do this, what you need is a free program called Team Viewer. To get that program, uh, what you need to do is open up your web browser, whether in Explorer or Firefox. And you will go to Google and Google in the word Team Viewer, all one word, uh, no space. Then you will click on search. Once you do that, you should get this result here. Now, yours might not have the, uh, the website pictures here. Mine has it because I got a program called uh, Google uh, Preview. It's a free add-on for Firefox. And that's why I got the little pictures. Yours will probably not have the pictures. It'll probably just have like yes. Unless, of course, you have Google Preview. Uh, once you do that, you click on the first link. Oh, what Google Preview does is just gives you a little picture of what the website is before you actually go to it. It's a neat little add-on. But anyhow, we're talking about Team Viewer. So, uh, uh, anyhow, you come to this first page, and you can read a little bit about it. Uh, but uh, to start your uh, start the full version, it's free. Um, it's free for you know personal use. If you have a company, you don't want to you don't want to use it. Uh, so you got two places to do. You can click right here, or you can click right there. And it pretty much send you the file, the setup file. And then you just save it. I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel because I already have it. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and open it up. And if you have a firewall, you go ahead and clear it with that. Okay, uh, it's going to ask you to install it. You hit next. Now it's going to ask you how you uh, want to use it. Make sure you do personal, non-commercial use. Click on that and click next. I click on it, agreements. Make sure you click on both of them. Uh, I don't normally do the password thing, so we'll just start normal. Okay, and then we'll click finish. Okay, next it's going to uh, show the ID. Next it's going to show the ID. I'm not going to show the ID in here for, you know, my own personal uh, protection. <laughs> and then it's going to have the password. Also, they're being blue. So I might have something blocked over this where you can't see the color, of it, but it's probably going to be in blue. Uh, but anyhow, what you need to do is copy the ID and copy the password. Okay, because over here you're going to put in the ID and then you can put it on the password. Now I'm going to go to my other computer because you'll need to install this on your other computer. Okay. Uh, so uh, let me pause the video, put it, open it up on the other computer so that I, I can show you. Okay, over here in the ID area, what you're going to do is you're going to type in the ID of the other computer. Now remember what I said, you have to install this program and have this program on on the other computer in order to do this. Okay, so let's say you get up in the morning, go ahead and turn this on and write down the ID and the password of the, uh, of the computer. And then once you're at work or something like that, you can remotely do this. Also, there might be a more secure way of doing this that you can do it. Uh, I haven't really, you know, studied this that much, you know, and I don't really fool around with it a little bit. But I think you can set it up to where, you know, you ain't got to have both of the programs running at the same time. Uh, but anyhow, to do it from this point, okay. Uh, you would go to the ID and you type in the ID number of the other computer and then it's going to ask for your password okay I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and do that um, uh, because I don't want you to see the ID number and the password okay after I ended, entered in the ID now it's prompting me for the password so I'm gonna go ahead and put the password in there again I'm gonna pause the video while I do that and once you do that, voila, you have uh, you have that other computer on there. Um, now, 
this is a uh, XP that I got running on the other computer and this one right the computer I have is a uh, Vista as you can see right there that's Vista and this right here is the XP machine see okay uh, and that's pretty much how you can do it now from here uh, I can go into you know any of my folders and um, open them up check them out watch the pictures uh, grab some documents and stuff like that that I might have in my documents uh, clean the PC out run some uh, you know uh, registry cleaners or something like that uh, fix the problem I might have uh, in my computer uh, and you know I can also you know transfer some files and stuff like that it gives that option up here transfer and it gives you a few other options it's a uh, neat program I really love it and it works uh, really good uh, but uh, give it a try see if you like it well that's it for this tutorial if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them if you like my videos and you want to uh, support them you can do so by subscribing or donating if you want to subscribe and you're watching my video you can click right here to subscribe if you want to donate click on the more info section and click on the first link if you're on my YouTube channel, you can click right here at the first link right there. Uh, and click right here if you want to subscribe. If you're not on YouTube and you want to donate, you can go to daddyjamesfilms.webs.com and then click on the links button. It'll take you to my links page. And on this page is a bunch of other uh, links to other softwares that you can try. Um, but you can go right here where it says please donate and it'll take you to my donate page. And you can click right here to donate. Hope you enjoy my tutorial and have a nice day.